Yeah, to that crazy motherfucker that killed his family, though. I was watching a, uh, a thing last night. It was the Iceman, Richard Kuklinski. Well, he passed away. But the dude, you know, I mean, he... He had... A wife and three children. The dude would never even think about hurting them. He never would even think about hurting a woman or a child. I mean, he worked for the mafia. You know, he was a mafia hitman. You know, look him up. I mean, if, if anybody sees this, look up the Iceman. You know, yeah, he was a cold-blooded killer. Yeah, I know that. But he would never think about hurting his family or a woman or a child. That is rule number one. You don't kill a kid. You do not kill a child whatsoever. You're not supposed to kill. You know, the guy, hey, you know, that's how he made his living. He was a mafia hitman. I you know, people are flashing money and shit at you and say, hey, you know, here's here's a half a million dollars. Go whack this dude here. Yeah, you know what? When you are uh, have a family and and kids, yeah, you're going to whack somebody for a, a half a million or better. And uh, I'm not saying what he did was right by no means whatsoever. You're not supposed to kill. You know, that's just it. But at least he had morals. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not defending a dude, but I was watching him. I mean, he, he had a, a bad childhood. You know, and you watch about shit like that, how his dad beat him and you know, degraded him and all that other good bullshit. You know, just beat the fuck out of him for no reason. Yeah, I could see how you turn dark. You know, that's just it. And he did. I mean, you could tell that he did have some remorse. And he did. You know, I mean, he was in the same jail with his own brother. And his own brother, you know, he killed somebody. He threw a woman off a building. But this guy... I wouldn't have wanted him after me at all. This dude, no, 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 no. There ain't no fucking way. He was one of the most deadliest men in America. You know, when you get 300 kills behind your belt and you don't get caught, then he slipped up. You know, it's, he seemed like an all right guy, though. You know, I mean, fuck. It, it's, it's just a lot of, you know, he's not misunderstood. It's just that that's what he knew how to do, was to kill. And he was good at it. You know, I mean, shit, the way he, he did it, I, I'd never kill anybody. The only way I'd kill anybody is in self-defense or if somebody was going to hurt one of my family members. That's the only way I'd kill, you know. But you could just tell he had remorse when the guy was talking to him. You know, and he got flustered when you questioned him and you... Didn't want to do that, I guess, you know, not get him mad because I, I seen all the, the Iceman videos and they got that movie out about him. Well, I guess it's been out for a while. But anyway, uh, that's all I really have to say. I guess there might be an Iceman in every one of us. But to kill your own family? Fuck no. You don't do that. That is rule number one. You just basically, you just don't even kill. But what that motherfucker did in Colorado, who too bad Richard Kuklinski ain't alive because I would have thrown his ass in, in the jail cell with him. And I would have said, hey, put him in there with this dude. Oh, yeah, he would have fucked him up big, big time. He is going to get what's coming to him, though, and I hope it's slow. Ooh, man, I hope it is slow. Just hearing what he did to them little girls and his wife, and his unborn son, man, I mean, that was brutal. That was, that was beyond barbaric. That dude needs to die. I mean, soon. But they're not going to kill him. They're just going to let somebody else do that, like Jeffrey Dahmer. You know, Jeffrey Dahmer, he had the same, he had the same problem. He had something wrong with him. He wasn't a racist. Everybody was saying he was a racist. No. He was nuts. You know, I mean, for what he did.
And that was about the same time the movie uh, Silence of the Lambs came out. And that was spooky there. But anyway, uh, that's all I got to say. Dude, I hope you get what's coming to you. You know? And I hope it's nice and slow. And poor little girls and your wife, man.